What's going on guys? Pre-Raptor here. Uh, before I start this video guys, I just have something something to let out. So, I just want to give a big shout out to all of you guys. All of you guys who've been commenting, who've been liking on my comments. You guys have been really active, giving me so many suggestions and I can't thank you guys enough for coming to the channel, watching my content, leaving a like, talking about Tekken in general, because Tekken is loved by all. I love Tekken, but you guys are making it worthwhile. You guys are a big motivation factor for me behind making Tekken videos or YouTube content in general. So yeah, that's all I wanted to say. You, you, you keep on doing what you guys uh, keep on doing what you guys do, and I will just keep on making content day in and day out. Uh, just keep on giving me suggestions as well. Let me know in the comments down below uh, what kind of co Tekken content you guys would like to see in the future after season three comes out, because there will be nothing left to do. But then Tekken is still out there. So yeah, that being said. We're gonna talk about Bruce today. So, hear me out, right? Why, why Bruce? So, why should we have Bruce in Tekken 7 Season 3 or DLC 3? So, there is al there's already Josie. Why, why uh, Bruce? So, my question is, King, why Armor King, right? We have Vegas. Why Murdoch? Why? So. It doesn't make sense. It it may, well, it kind of makes sense. Well, uh, it, it's it's not that Capcom or Bandai Namco or Katsuro Harada is keeping all the Tekken characters dead. He's bringing them back again. So yeah, so we might have a possibility of Bruce Irvin coming back in Tekken Seven because trust me, Bruce Bruce is like the most smoothest way to uh, describing kickboxing. So I mean, Josie does kickboxing, but. Bruce has been with us since Tekken 2 and boy oh boy, Bruce feels like he's an actual kickboxer. You you got you really feel cool when you fight with Bruce, that's all I'm gonna say. This feels really smooth. So yeah, we're gonna watch some of uh, Bruce's legacy from Tekken 2 till Tekken um, Tekken 6, I'm guessing? Tekken Tag 2, I think, yeah. So Bruce was there till Tekken Tag 2. So yeah, we're gonna watch watch through it, we're gonna I'm gonna react to it and I'm gonna I'm, I wanna see what you guys think as well. Let me know in the comments down below. Do what you do always. Let's get started. Okay. So that's wow. That's second two, guys. That's second two. See this is what I'm talking about. Bruce feels actually like he is a kickboxer, unlike Josie. I mean I have nothing against Josie, but Bruce actually feels really good. Oh my god, that creepy ass smile. It's like whenever a serial killer comes out of a truck and be like, You want an ice cream? Taken three. I love this soundtrack for some reason. Sure, you can. That's a tiger uppercut. Oh my. Oh my god, this entire Mishima clan. Okay, I'm guessing this is Taken five? Isn't this the same guy from Tekken 2? I think it's the same guy from Tekken 2 who got motivated. Who, who became bigger. Interesting. Ah, that's a dick move. That's a dick move. Listen guys. No violence. Peace. Be like June, Snow White. Be like June. Peace and love. <laughs> Who the hell are you? Oof. 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 This guy's getting smoked. No one messes with Bruce. Hmm. He still looks creepy as in Tekken 2. Like, I don't know why they didn't improve his CGI in Tekken 5 as well. Kinda looks creepy. Is it just me or is it... Guys. Okay, this is Tekken 6 I'm guessing? Yeah, he, in Tekken 6 he was the bodyguard for Kazuya. Works with G-Corp. Nani? Taskete! Yeah, this is G Corp. This is G Corp. You don't need to tell me twice. Let's go, everyone. He still looks creepy. He still looks creepy. I don't know why. 
the boost. I can tag two of them. Yep, best kickboxer ever. Punches a car with his fucking fists or shoulders. <laughs> Alright. All to save a bird. Sweetheart Bruce. You're safe now. Oh. <laughs> well that guy's fucked. Okay, so that's that's all because uh, Bruce wasn't there for much Tekken. He was for as you guys can see he was fell from Tekken 2 to Tekken Tag 2 and he didn't Tekken 7 is where we want him, right? Where we want Bruce, not Josie. So yeah, let me know what you guys think as well in the comments down below. Um if any if you guys have any, any more suggestions, let me know as well. But yeah, that's all I gotta say for Bruce. That that being said, guys, stay safe. Peace. Legends never die when the world is calling you. Can you hear them scream?